Hello everybody, George Taylor from Imagine Learning as I cross the street here at the Columbus Zoo on a road trip to Kings Island. And this is only about an hour and a half away. So I wanted to stop and ride their coaster, trying to figure out which way to go. I've never been to the Ohio uh, Columbus Zoo before, so I'm excited. And they've got a 1956, 57 roller coaster here, the Sea Serpent. Very excited to try it out. Sea Dragon is a junior wooden roller coaster that was built in 1956 by John C. Allen, who at the time was president of the Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters, or PTC. Allen based the designs on his mentor, Herbert Schmeck, and this coaster was one of three that was built during the mid-1950s and the only one still standing. Sea Dragon offers a direct influence on other John Allen coasters, including the Kitty Coasters at Carowinds, Kings Island, and Kings Dominion. In July of 2022, Sea Dragon was designated an ace historical landmark, of course, which it did deserve. It's a fun coaster, and I really enjoyed taking a couple rides on it, and if you're in the area, you definitely should check it out. Made it inside the zoo. They sell tickets for rides, so you can buy the ride band, the wristband for uh, all rides is like $14. I don't want to ride everything, so I'm just gonna here for the Sea Dragon. Unfortunately, the Tidal Twister is closed for maintenance today, so I won't get that coaster credit. But I'm very excited about the Sea Dragon. One of the extremely unique features about Sea Dragon is that the braking is all done manually. You won't find many coasters like this left in the United States or anywhere, so it's great to experience this at least once or twice or a few times. It's a great coaster. I just did two rides on the Sea Dragon, one in the front, one in the back. I have to say I enjoyed the back ride a lot better. It's a beautiful little kiddie coaster. Total ride times less than a minute. So much fun, but I did drive an extra hour and a half out of the way, paid money to get into the zoo, but it was fun. Great experience. Highly recommended if you're in the area to come out and enjoy the, uh, the Sea Dragon since it is such a classic wooden roller coaster. When I visited the Columbus Zoo, it really was just to check out the two roller coasters. Unfortunately, with Tidal Twister being closed, it left a little bit of extra time. We didn't plan on our trip to spend a lot of time at the zoo. It was sort of a last minute side field trip during my Kings Island coaster trip. But it was a lot of fun to visit and walk around the zoo and see uh, what exhibits they have to offer. It was a lot of fun to pet the stingrays as they ran around and we spent a lot of time watching Sid the Sloth, although he did seem more interested in the um, people, the handlers, so to speak. We really think he just wanted some treats. The Columbus Zoo and Aquarium is massive. We only had a few hours there and we did not get to see everything. So make sure you plan your day accordingly if you're going to visit. You may want to call ahead just to make sure the coasters are operating, but you still will enjoy the zoo. It is a fantastic experience. I highly recommend it. Great animal encounters and displays and amazing roller coaster that you've got to check out. And it's always a tradition to me 
When I'm in the Columbus area, I've got to visit Swenson's Drive-In and get a Galley Boy. It is an excellent, excellent cheeseburger. They have great customer service. And I always have to get a mint shake to end my day. Have you had a chance to ride Sea Dragon at the Columbus Zoo? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks.